this is Roxy and I have a quick and small little haul from my favorite thrift store. We sometimes stop there after acupuncture on Saturdays. A little treat for ourselves. So I'm going to insert a picture I bought. Well, actually, Scrubby found it. And he was like sitting on the fence. I'm like, grab it. It was a gorgeous paint-by-number large painting of birch trees and geese. And I'm, I'd like to keep it, but I might um, resell it because they are really hot right now. And it's really like a quintessential perfect picture for um, cabin areas up here in Minnesota or wherever. So anyways, I'm going to put a picture of that in. But then I found these were, um, I think, $1.49 for both of them. And I thought I'd use them for, um, I want to sketch, try to sketch some faces and people. But I also love this. I mean, I had a dress like that. Loved it. And, um, of course, it's not my size anymore. But anyways, I thought it'd be cuter. I could use these to, um, like, maybe sketch some little girl dresses, whatever. Um, but I thought I'd have fun with that, and I could always use the pattern pieces inside. And then I got in the stamp area. These two were, a do no, $2.49 for both of them. And I know they had more in this series, I think. This is from 2005. But, you know those stamps I got where the lady threw in all those books? I actually came across these in one of the books and thought, oh, those are so pretty because I don't really follow Stampin' Up! a lot. You know, only what I see on YouTube and then have to have. But um, these were really pretty and I thought they'd be kind of fun to kind of maybe do a watercolor background and then stamp on it or something. But I got those. And then this was such a great find. I remember, you know, those little, um, I think it's Lily of the Valley. I think it's Lily of the Valley from England. Not this one. Um, they have those little tags. Jill Norwood got us all on it. But I thought these would be perfect to go, like, on those little tags. Because they have a blank one, and then other ones are Christmas. And then I think I got the whole set that are just general. But, so I've got a carrot. Is that not adorable? And then Patriotic Heart. These were all two, did I say? Two forty nine. An apple. What happened to my light? This is a cute star. This would be kind of more for Christmas. There it is. Little snowman. I guess it's just going to bounce around. A gingerbread, I think. Little angel. There's a ton of prim stamps there. And I know they're dated. But if you think of it as primitive, they're not dated. Huh? The cute little flower. And I could always color that to be like a poinsettia. So that's gingerbread man. What is this then? Oh, it's a ghost. Okay. Um, a tree. Or you could use cut that off and make it a piece of pizza. Cute bow. Those would be super cute on those tags. As with this, this you could do more like in a khaki brown for twine and then a star and there's um, I think I counted 14 eight. yeah there's 14 so I'm not sure if that was the whole set because I didn't see any anywhere else so that's a cool find and then I found this one for 49 cents sent my remember that company my sentiments exactly. I got a bunch of their stamps. They have really good stamps. So that's all I got. Um, but I thought I'd share that and then I'll 
I'll get working on these so you can see how cute they're gonna be. Thanks for watching, bye.